Welcome to this video playing Gretmaster Mandragoro from Thailand. <clears throat> I know the flag this time. It's a friend of mine. <laughs> Gretmaster Schäbler, old teammate. <clears throat> now living in Thailand. So let's see, what can I do here? Mm. Yeah, we have a huge number of games <laughs> played in the past. I don't know what he plays against this. Something with Eve. No, not this time. I think Bishop G5 is still right. C5, D5, B5, Bishop D3 is how they play it. Bishop d3 anyway. Yeah, looks like the right spot. I have tried knight d2 earlier in any game. Maybe against um, Slavko Cicak, Sauerkraut. <laughs> Not totally sure. Yeah, black is very flexible. It can also go c6 and b5. Okay, so. Probably we get this Grunfeld, uh, sorry, this Benko style position. Um, so I'm just castling or how to play. <clears throat> uh, I don't particularly want to take, at the end there's always this knight e4 business, so I'm probably just castling. I guess <clears throat> I guess he will take now on c4. Sometimes you can of course delay that. But I think now I'm really threatening to take b5 and uh, and keep the pawn in a rather favorable situation. Yeah, okay, this this you can always insert. Where to put this piece? Hmm. Bishop, it's not so clear to me. Very often bishop h4 is his offside, but I'm not, not sure at the moment, as it also keeps some pressure on e7. Yeah, in this situation, for example, it, it puts some pressure on e7. Okay, maybe here, so that I have a bishop f1 in case of knight b6, getting a good spot for the for this piece. And I want to get also the rook outside of the long diagonal. Mm, not 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 this probably. But okay, <clears throat> it's not a huge problem. I can also play knight e2 here. Mm. To avoid the trades. Not sure that this is any good though. Hmm. I don't know. Will he take or play knight d4? Knight d4 I can take, bishop takes, queen takes h6, so knight d4 probably not coming. I couldn't take twice on b5 as a2 was uh, was hanging. Mm. Knight e2, that's knight b6. Hmm. Uh, maybe this is an idea actually. So that maybe knight e3 to c4 can be can be played. Maybe knight e3 g4 hmm. looks weird, but maybe. 
maybe an idea. Let's uh, get this out of the range of the bishop. Yeah, should I play a4 here? Trying to to block the whole thing, maybe. Uh, maybe knight d4 takes, pawn takes. Yeah, this is this is now much better because the knight comes to c5. Hmm. Ah, this was bad. Hmm. Yeah, this was really bad judgment. I forgot that he take can take with the c-pawn. Hmm. Very ugly. Check. Yeah, if I get in knight c3 b5, it's okay, but I don't think I will manage, unfortunately, because of this move. d3 is um, hanging, a4 is hanging. Nah. Mm. Oh, that's very, very, very bad. I need to complicate matters here. Good, good or bad. <laughs> okay, maybe knight here to d3 can get this in. Time we should deform. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I need to need to um, get rid of this bishop somehow. Not sure that bishop d4 is even good, but f4 rook e4 takes rook takes. Yeah. At least he has weakened the king side a bit. It's not it's not good or anything for me, but maybe some swindling chances. C5 is hanging. I know E5, hmm, not good. Wow, yeah, it's amazingly bad, this position. And it's even with a check. It's even with a check. really no very little hope of uh, getting something in rookie two is not even a threat rook g7 though is a threat maybe check oh check 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 mm, I, will, I will lose on time probably check
Check. White forfeits on time. <laughs> uh, this was just bad play. Wow, I played this like a total moron. Especially considering that uh, this position here is certainly quite good for white. The fairly typical Benoni structure where white is just better. But I, I really misplayed this dramatically. The main problem was that um, I, I didn't uh, think about when I played a4. This is okay. I mean, nothing great or anything, but this is just bad, terribly bad. I completely, I, I thought he must return to um, to c7 because I simply, for, for some reason, didn't consider that he can take with the pawn. Um, yeah. If I play something like that, I mean, what is black doing in this position? I threaten e5. I just thought that I can play it more conveniently. My idea was, I thought he must return. And after that, I mean, okay, a5 hangs, so this is a total catastrophe. The problem is that this is just, just very uncomfortable with the knight coming to c5. Yeah. Yeah, I still should do that probably. This is Check. this is even even more problematic with the rook coming to b4, and now all of a sudden the tables are turned. Now black is by far better. The rook on b4 is very strong, and those two pawns are, are a big weakness. Yeah, I try to try to confuse him basically, but um, of course this shouldn't uh, shouldn't. Um, be, be successful. Yeah, it was it was just luck that I Check. got this in. Check. Here White is winning, of Check. course, but it does not does not really matter. The whole game was was really bad by, by my by my side. Yeah, a4 is just just bad. I forgot about cd4. If if we look at this, something like this. What what is Black doing here? E5 is uh, is um, is on the horizon. And uh, consider this in comparison. You know, here I, I don't have a weakness on b3. That's the big difference. And uh, I'm threatening long term to just expand. This is a very, a very good Benoni, really, with um, very limited counterplay for black. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching.